King's Choice is a dating RPG game simulating life at the European medieval royal court. This game follows the same popular format as others in the genre such as King's Throne, Game of Cards, and Game of Sultans. Your main focus with these games will be to enlarge the size of your harem and produce many heirs. Players may also add men to their harem. There are limits as to how fast you can progress in this type of game before it becomes tempting to spend money on it. Please be mindful of your focus and try to avoid getting overly competitive with other players on your server. Mobile game addiction is a serious documented ailment that can result in financial losses, mental breakdowns, and possibly in suicide. Wake up! Wake up! Ellie! Are you... thinking about the past again? I came to rescue you. Please, trust me. Run. Don't let my father see you. Oh no, someone's coming. Run! I'll hold them off. Don't worry, he's my father. After the intro videos, you will find yourself managing a small kingdom. As with all installments in the genre, there will be three basic resources, food, soldiers, and silver. Money will be used to upgrade your knights and other functions, while food is used to recruit soldiers. Resources can be collected at the Interior Ministry. These resources will regenerate over time, and the amount generated is increased by improving the traits of your knights and their partner maidens. You can find which maiden matches with each knight by accessing the Info tab. Your knights will have four basic stats. Strength governs combat power and reduces total soldier casualties. Leadership affects food production. Intellect boosts silver production, and charisma will increase the total maximum soldiers you can recruit. Try to save your stat boost items for later when you get premium knights with better starting skills. The main storyline quest will require you to complete a mini game. You don't actually have to do anything, as this minigame is automated. As long as you have enough soldiers, more than the current stage, you will advance to the next part. At the end of each stage, you will have a boss battle in which each of your knights will take turns hitting the opponent. In the early portions of the game, it will only take one to two hits to beat each stage boss, and completing stages will earn experience points for the player. The higher your level, the more resources you can tax or tithe at any one time. If you are going full free-to-play, you will eventually hit a wall where you may only clear one to two stages per day. Do try to take part in as many free events as possible so as to build up a war chest of boosts. Also remember that the more food you have, the more soldiers you can recruit each day. You can join alliances to take part in daily and weekly challenges. There is a PvP arena to challenge other players, and the daily evasion and holding court are also good sources of stat boost items. You can also join or host a party to gain points to exchange for boosts and items and other tokens. So with that portion of the game out of the way, let's talk about the harem. You will have a starter bride and acquire additional maidens as you progress in player level. There will be a new player event which awards with new maidens each at a set level milestone. And as I mentioned in the beginning, you can choose a girl or a guy. In the harem, you can flirt with the maidens and also bed your wives to produce heirs, as long as you have enough empty spots in the heir section. Once you have raised your children, you can then marry them off to other players. Some weddings may require special tokens, though. Once your heir is wed, you will gain a stat boost from both your child and their respective spouse. This is similar to the boost you get from heroes and their partners. Do keep in mind that the developer earns money on microtransactions, so there will be many functions with unlockable extra slots. You can acquire new maidens by going on patrols of your kingdom. You have a chance of meeting a possible mate on some map spots. This functions like older text-based adventure games where you can choose to move north, south, east, or west. Personally, I found it useful to keep a log of each spot I met a maiden at, and how many steps I took in each direction after the encounter. Increasing the intimacy levels of your maidens will unlock stat bonuses and visual effects. Unlike other games in this genre, King's Choice has four different intimacy stages for each maiden, while others employ only two. You can, of course, find a nearly complete set of maidens at the Game Girls Gallery blog. Uh, the link is in the description. If you found King's Choice to be an enjoyable game, then I would strongly suggest trying out any of the other games which I mentioned earlier in this video. You can find full walkthroughs for both Game of Cards and King's Throne on my blog. The links are also included in the description. 
Be sure to check out some of my dating game shorts for more lovely content. Other great collections include Sugary Date Sim and Lover's Dating Simulator, sampled on the left there. Full image sets or anything that I cannot post on YouTube can also be found on the Game Girls Gallery blog. Shadow Brides Gothic RPG is another great game which includes hundreds of hot cosplay photos unlocked through gameplay. Or, if you cannot wait, all the images are conveniently located on the Game Girls Gallery blog. If you have made it to the end, then kudos and thanks for watching. And if you feel up to it, please like and subscribe.